We're still in North Carolina right now, and somebody just popped some Golden Lores right after the Elite Raids, and I'm excited to get as many coins as possible. Plus, I know that I and a friend of mine have Golden Lores as well to share with the community, so let's see how many we get today. We got 10 off of the first one, which isn't bad, and also I should probably check how many golden coins I have, so let's go down real quick. So we were at 721 now that we got that 10, so let's see how many we can get in today's video. And now we're at a spot where we can spin all four of the stops, so let's see how many golden coins we're gonna get. From spin number one, we're going to be getting ourselves five coins. Spin number two, it looks like we're gonna be getting ourselves five as well. All right, hopefully this last one will be really good. Hopefully we'll get a lot of coins on this one, but it's looking like another five. Oh joy. On the upside, we have plenty of spins, plus I haven't even popped mine yet, though I'm thinking about popping it right on this one. Yeah, no, we can spin that. Why not? Let's do it. We'll golden lord this one as well. And now we're in a spot where we can get five golden lords at the same time. That's awesome. And this one gives me 10. All right, cool, there we go. Unfortunately, I've already spun one before the others, so we're gonna spin this one and wait for the others. But let's see what happens with this one. But it's looking like we're getting another five coins right here. Yeah, this is a five coin. Now the three are ready. Let's see what we get from this one. Come on, big money. It looks like we're getting a lot more coins here. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a few coins. In total, we got 10 from that one. Okay, we'll spin this one. How many we get? We get 20. Okay, down with that. And then this one at the end gives us 25. All right, big money, right? And then my lore. Are we gonna do well on my lore? We get five. Of course we do. I decided to wait a little bit so they'd all become ready. Let's see how many coins we get from this one. So spin number one, we're gonna get ourselves 10. Not bad. Number two, we're gonna be getting ourselves 15, so that's 25 in total. Number three, 30. Oh my god, I didn't even know you could get 30 from that. That's amazing. And this one, we're gonna be getting ourselves 20. And then mine, please be nicer than the last times. 25, All right, wow, that was a good batch. Our next round of spinning has begun. Let's see what we got here. We got Like Vita. Like Vita gave us 25, let's go. We'll do mine next, because mine seems to be pretty disappointing most of the time. We got ourselves 10, that's not bad. Then we got Nice Finch, he's got 20. Then it's me, Lemur Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. We got ourselves 20 from that one. And then last but not least, Red Dragon's 420. It is five coins. Okay. Red Dragon? Red Dragon. Thank you for the coins, my man. I appreciate you. And where's Lemur Boy? Right there. Lemur Boy. Thank you, Lemur Boy. Here we are yet again. I'm going to start with mine just because mine usually isn't the greatest. And it's 15. Okay. Well, every time I've said that, it's been better. Ice Finch is going to give us 15 as well. So that's 30 in total. We're going to get this one from a Lemur Boy. And he gives me five. We got 35 in total so far. This one gives us 15. Awesome. And then the last but not least, we've got Like Vita. He gave us 15 as well. All right, we're doing great. Looks like we're down to four stops. I should probably quickly spin these. My stop gives me 20, not bad. The next one's gonna give us 25. We've definitely hit the limit now, or not the limit, but we've definitely got enough to get ourselves a Goldingo. And of course, the next one I spun was not gold anymore. And then the last one also gives us 20. Awesome. And just in case you're curious, if we scroll down to the coins here, we can get 1,036. So you can go over 999. So don't worry about hitting a limit and having to evolve, you don't have to evolve right away. So if you wanted to stack these things up and wait for the shiny, you could do that. Or if you get a hundo, you could wait for that as well. You don't have to rush. As you can see, the Golden Lords are now officially over, but somebody did pop one more, so we managed to get a couple more afterwards. In total, we managed to get ourselves quite a few coins. We're at 1,066, and we started at 721. So we got 345 coins off of those lords, which is amazing. Yeah, amazingly wrong, potentially. As you saw on the screen, my coin total went up to 410, but in my inventory, it only went up by 345. And initially, I thought this was a huge bug while I was editing this. I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing a a lot of coins and there was another lore that happened afterwards that I didn't even show you guys and at the bare minimum if I spun that lore five times and only got five per that would have been another 25 on top of it so at the barest of minimums I should have been at 1156 all things combined but then I decided to do a little bit more research and I thought I would talk to a friend about it you know try to get some more perspective because obviously I'm not perfect I need to get some other outside opinions and they did mention something that may be the cause of why my number was incorrect comparatively to what my inventory said. And that's the accumulation effect that sometimes happens when you spin Pokestops and Gems. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I spun like three Pokestops in a row and I only got five coins each, but there was a slight pause in between each one of those spins. But then one of the next clips, I was spinning the stops a lot faster and it seems like those items were accumulating a little bit higher and higher. Hence why I was getting numbers that looked bigger than what I was actually getting. And I can also demonstrate this in the gym system right here. So I have a Halucha that I still believe is in North Carolina but watch what happens as I'm feeding him. This is 30, but now it says 60, and now we just keep going, and it's at 90, it's at 120. Clearly, I'm not getting 150, and now I didn't just get 180 on top of that 150. That's just 30 dust multiple times on top of each other, and it's just adding up. So yes, 
Yes, in total, I did get about 240 dust right there, but I didn't just get 150, and then the next time I buried it, I got 180. That would have been 330 dust just for those two berries. So that's why I think my number was slightly off. Or there could be a slight issue in the system. We're still not 100% sure yet, but I think that's what happened to me specifically. But I think it was important to show why my numbers were slightly different than obviously what I saw in the game, because you guys might have thought, wait a minute, he just got cheated there for sure. And then potentially you could have looked into it and thought to yourselves, wait, maybe that I got cheated on these coins as well, so I thought it would be good to point out why that potentially happened that way. Again, not a 100% this is exactly why it's like this. I mean, there's a chance there is slight glitches here and there with this stuff, but that's why I personally believe that my numbers were off. And again, thank you to my friends that were talking to me about it and giving me some examples, because that helped me put it all in perspective. Because I'm not going to lie, the beginning little bit of video that I took was me going, where are my 90 plus coins that I should have? But that's why it's good to get other opinions instead of just focusing on your own opinions. But but anyways, let's get to that Gimme Ghoul evolution. And we have more than enough for a Gimme Ghoul. And I'm very happy to say we've got a good one to evolve. I recently got this guy in a trade. We got ourselves a 100% lucky Gimme Ghoul. So happy about it. But before we evolve him, we have to power it all the way up to level 50 first. So this is going to be a 1248 when it's level 50. So there we go. It is already maxed out. And I would give it a second move before evolving him, but unfortunately Gimme Ghoul doesn't have any other moves. It's literally just Astonish and Shadow Ball. So let's evolve this one all the way to Goldango. It's going to be a 3976 at level 50. That's also really cool that you get this whole little coin thing here, though it would be hilarious if they had just a gigantic pile of coins in front of it. But here we go. We have now applied the coin, and now this tiny little gimme ghoul is going to turn into Goldingo, and I am so excited to finally have this in Pokemon Go. Plus, it's really cool that we're getting a Lundo Dex entry, which is neat. In the future, I really hope to get a shiny one, but until then, there he is. Look at that. That is such a weird looking cheese string Pokemon. So cool, though. And there it is, registered to the Dex. Oh, man. I'm so glad that we got this. And there we go. With the lucky back it just looks so good and now we can actually give this guy a second move so let's do that real fast there we go he's got a second move so now he has hex shadow ball and focus blast i know for fast moves all he can learn is hex and astonish and when it comes down to charge moves i believe the only other move it gets is dazzling gleam in fact for fun let's just check it right now so if we elite fast tm it he can learn astonish and with the elite charge tm let's just get rid of focus blast all he can learn is dazzling gleam so yeah i was correct in the future apparently this pokemon has a decent move that would make it a little bit better but it's still really awesome to have this guy right now and apparently this thing is one of the best ghost types in all the game that isn't a shadow or a mega. We're definitely gonna have to best buddy him. In fact, let's make him our buddy right now. And here we go. We're gonna switch out the shadow Nido King, which is almost a best buddy. And now we've got our new targeted best buddy. And just for fun, let's play with him and bring him out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a poffin at him. Why not? I do expect to walk around with him a little bit. I'm gonna be able to battle with him a little bit. So might as well just poffin him. Then we give him a quick little pet there. Wonderful. And then a picture. We're not gonna get any smericles because I already did that. Just like that, there he is walking around us. That's cool. I am curious though if we start moving fast is he gonna like run around and skate around or if he's is he just like a runner oh no he just did it wow of course i wasn't paying attention that is so cool so he does this little weird walk but uh, whenever he wants to like move really fast he gets on like his little golden surfboard thing there it is oh my god that is so cool i love that big shout out to the durham north carolina community here for popping all those golden lures after the elite raids without all of your guys' golden lures i would not have been able to get this gold dingo today so thank you guys so very much and if you ever come to durham north carolina there is a pretty big community here you guys should definitely come down and hit them up. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest you check out this video right over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.